stencil image, exacto knife and contact paper, and a six by six inch mirror. You will start off by spraying your six by six inch mirror with Windex and thoroughly cleaning it so there are no spots before applying the contact paper. Get your contact paper that you will be putting on top of your 6x6 six six inch mirror and placing in the middle making sure that your contact paper is larger than your mirror. Remove the contact paper from its plastic adhesive. Be sure to hold the corners and allow there to be a curvature in the middle so that the first touch of the contact paper is to the center of the mirror. Do not apply pressure for the contact paper will stick itself to the mirror. Press your thumbs in the middle of the contact paper and you will see a dark circle and this pressure, apply the pressure from the middle outwards using your thumb. This will escape and push out any air bubbles from staying um, onto the mirror between um, the contact paper and itself. And this will avoid any problems that you may find having um, when cutting with the X-Acto knife. Flip your mirror over and grab your X-Acto knife to cut out the excess contact paper that is outside of the mirror. Now you will be removing the excess white paper and cutting out your image so that it can fit perfectly onto your mirror. Tape your image in your desired location onto your mirror. You will then take scotch tape to tape your image onto the contact Allow paper. there to be half an inch overlay between each layer of tape. This will ensure that the image will in fact stay onto the contact tape paper when you are cutting the image out with the X-Acto knife. Make sure you cut the tape from the table and the mirror and flip your mirror over and cut off the excess scotch tape that is on the back. Remember to use your mirror as a guideline. Now you will begin to cut your image out. Whether you decide to cut the black or white part of your stencil, it depends on what type of image you are trying to um, deliver. So begin cutting and apply slight pressure but not so much pressure because it could potentially break the tip of the exacto knife if you want many curves and if your image has a lot of curves be sure to rotate your mirror and leave your exacto knife and just let the rotation of the mirror follow your exacto knife rather than moving your exacto knife or that will give it um, more sharper lines and edges um, as opposed to curved lines so follow any of the black space um, that's what we are removing from this Jimi Hendrix stencil and you will use your exacto knife to lift off the 
the paper and then the contact paper as well and be sure not to scrape the mirror um, and the contact paper um, is also there to uh, help not scrape the mirror while you are cutting once you have brushed on the acid etching cream allow it to sit for seven minutes use the water to rinse off the cream from your mirror and be sure not to rub your hands onto the cream to get it off because this cream is acid based it could potentially hurt you and um, burn your skin so just let the water run over it and then remove your contact paper um, while the water is running and you have the mirror under it once you have completed that step you can clean your mirror with Windex voila there you go you have completed a mirror etching 